Yo, Chris Richter back here again. We're looking this time at something a bit different. We're still looking at Moodle and how we can add content to Moodle and develop our courses in Moodle, but I want to show you specifically how to add Vimeo videos to Moodle and how to restrict the access to only go to your domain. So this is my Vimeo account and I've got a collection of videos here. You'll see there's a collection of Empire Between ones. That's a band that I'm in there that was added a while ago. Let's say I want to go into my videos to manage them. I go into manage videos and library and let's go to Empire Between just for the exercise. If we go and have a look at Grown, which by the way, I'll put a link down the bottom so you can check out some of the music from Empire Between because uh, yep, that would be me over there. Empire Between is music that my daughter and I both write. We've recorded, so there's, I'll put some links for all of that for you. You can check it out. But if we go into privacy, you can see here that you can decide where this video will appear. And in our case, we want to, we want to move our video or allow our video to be played only on our Moodle platform. So the choices are we can have it unlisted from Vimeo. We can have it password protected. We can hide it from Vimeo. We can have it private or we can have it public. And what we want to do is change it so it can be embedded and choose the specific domains that it will be embedded in. Now, if we want to share this video, we'd normally go to share a link or we'd go to embed and grab the embed code. I'm going to go through all of that, but I'm going to show it, show you this from a course instead or a video that I, that I would use in a course. So I'm going to jump down to the introduction to Adobe Illustrator course that I wrote because I'd like to put that course into my Moodle platform. Here's all of our videos. I'm going to list them side by side here. So we've got uh, five, six different designs, how to export and a heap of other stuff there. I think there is more videos below that. Yes, there is the introduction video, which is just here. So that's the first video that I want to use is the introduction video. Let's jump back to Moodle and then we'll come back and grab this once we're ready. So I'm going to quickly jump in and create a new course. And this will be our introduction to Illustrator for education. And we just have intro to Illustrator. We don't need a course end date. Let's jump down, save and display. That's all we need so far. We now like to add in our introduction video. I can do this by going straight to page, calling this introduction. And in the introduction here is where I want to put the video. So there's a few ways to go about doing this. Jumping back to Vimeo, here's my introduction video just here. If I go into the video, we can check what the settings are. So we have the option of a link or embed. Now I'm going to choose embed and grab the embed code and I want it to be responsive. You can do a fixed width where you choose the width, but responsive is what I want because I want it to go to whatever the size is of the device that's viewing the video. We've got that embed code. We jump back in here, put the code into the page, choose save and display. That's it. We have our first video in there. Now let's go back and check our settings though. Now just remember that we are on Moodle. Our domain is Moodle for ricochet.com.au is the website that I'm delivering this from. So let's jump back to Vimeo and have a look in our privacy settings. And our privacy settings say hide from Vimeo. So that way people searching Vimeo don't come across this video. Still embeddable anywhere, which is what we want. Then we go down to specific domains. We can then put in our domain, which is that one there, which I already have. So I've already added this one previously. So you can see there. So that means that this video will only get displayed on the website moodle4.ricochet.com or moodle311.ricochet.com.au so either one of those they're the only places that people can embed or i can embed this video which means people can't see this from other places it's restricted only to that domain which is exactly what we wanted so that's how we go about embedding it now there is a couple of other options i do want to show you and that talks about the things that are displayed around the video uh, we've got here you know the logo and the introduction ricochet all of that writing and all of these buttons that appear on the player. If we jump back into our video, we can choose beside the video, we can choose player. In player, we have all of these settings and there's a, a bit of a preset. You can actually you know, set something to customize. We can hide the profile picture. If I just go hide all, which is the easiest one to do. And for this one, hide all again. Play bar, we want to get rid of the Vimeo logo. You can see it changing down over here actually when you See these different areas. So uh, down the bottom, we've got the play bar, the volume, 
the picture in picture. Don't really need picture in picture. The full screen, we'll leave the full screen on because they're all things that people will use when they're using this. The video details over there, you can see we've got show and hide. So it's hide all. Then choosing our colors, if you have a particular color theme that goes with your site, then you may want to change that. So I'm just going to save that. Jump back to our video and you can see there we've got a heart with a like, we've got introduction, ricochet, we've got all of these controls down here. If I now refresh this for this video, it's looking much, much cleaner now. We've got rid of the logo, we've got rid of the other bits and pieces, we've got the minimum down the bottom here uh, of what we needed. And our video is now ready to be presented to students. So students can actually hit play. It'll stream down from the streaming service. That bit of music in the background is actually my band Empire Between. We can zoom that out. It will also auto scale. It'll Google cast, which is cool. And in the settings, it will choose what quality automatically as well for you if you leave it on auto. So that's, that's how we can go about embedding a Vimeo video and restricting it to just this domain. Hope that's been useful to you. Uh, if you've got any questions or you've got any other ideas, things you want to know about, let me know. Keen to get to know you and find out what you need as well.